Okay, so <clears throat> I wasn't going to make a video this month, but honestly, this has just gotten me more than a little annoyed at this point. I've mentioned this in a comment to um, the YouTuber Diakitty's um, page just a few moments ago, but <clears throat> I really feel like this needs to be said. Honestly, just... It annoys me, this whole Russia, Ukraine, and every other freaking pointless argument in history that's resulted in people being sucked into it. I don't really care much for peop for government conflicts because, honestly, they're just fucking glorified freaking children in suits. Children in business suits is all they're doing. The, th the same things we scold children for, like we being adults, the same thing adults scold children for about like drawing lines on the playground to distance themselves from one another because they don't want to talk to one another. It's exactly the same as these territorial borders we have all over the fucking world. Every time I look at a fucking flag just waving in the wind and I'm supposed to think of it like a patriot sort of thing, I'm just like, that thing's a fucking eyesore. It's ridiculous. It's nothing more than a mark of territory and honestly, Russia, Ukraine, America, China, Japan, just South America, North America, freaking Australia, all of these continents and countries within them, just, it sickens me that the governments are acting like such spoiled little children and they're being such hypocrites when they talk to their children or whatever, saying, don't draw a line, and then you draw a line between your, in your country and everyone else's and making... Like, you're so different. But honestly, at the end of the day, we're all humans. In my many years of being on the internet, and hell, my many years of just being alive, I have one learned, one, I've seen one constant every single time. And that's, we're all fucking humans. No matter what culture we come from, no matter what ethnic background or whatever, we're all fucking human. Yeah, we make mistakes. But we're supposed to learn from them. Not just make more mistakes without even bothering to learn from the old ones. <sighs> and honestly, the fact of the matter is, governments across the world, not just Russia, not just America, not just Ukraine, they're all fucking acting like spoiled little brats. And they're hypocrites, not to mention. I guess what I'm really trying to say is, I just, I don't want the people of the world to get along with one another because that's asking too much. That's impossible. What I want is for them to find common ground and get a, and just like, you know, find things to agree on and just have a co sort of shared coexistence, but not, you know, the opposite of shared coexistence, you know. There are so many introverts in the world, but honestly, it's the countries themselves that are introverts in terms of the governments. Like, you're so much better than... No, you're not. You're not better than anyone. And it really annoys me that just... <sighs> they think this... They just label it as okay. When really, they're just scared. At the end of the day. They're scared of losing their reputations or their egos. Or maybe even they're scared of like a threat of violence against their families. Whatever. The point still stands. You're scared. And honestly... I could be a little bit of a hip... This could be coming a little bit from a place of hypocrisy myself. Because I don't have any really... I'm not really scared of anything anymore. But... <sighs> the fact that they're acting out of fear... And not... And refusing to t have bravery, but having other people do the bravery for them, i.e. the s armies of the world... Because... It's literally nothing more than compensating for what they don't have. The courage to fucking stand up and face their problems themselves. You're scared. You're afraid. Whatever. But you can't suck other people, innocent lives, into, their, into your problems. That's not what you should do. What you should do is try and confront your fear face on. Like head on. Just face first. 
but when you're being so stubborn and spineless and cowardly, it annoys me, honestly. And like I said, I've been just, I've interacted with multiple people from multiple cultures and multiple ethnic groups over the course of my 20 something, you know, years on the internet. People that speak different languages, and honestly, at the end of the day, even their languages is not that much different because it's all part of the human thing. It's human sounds that we're making. They're not meows or bark bark or anything else. They're sounds that only humans make. The words of the world are languages, but they're taken into different groups because, again, we just can't find it in our, you know, scared little hearts to get along with one another. To just agree that, yes, we have differences. How can we work on making those differences things that we can see eye to eye on instead of combating each other? Hurting people because they're different or because they don't agree with you is not okay. It's okay to have differences. It's not okay to hurt people over those differences. And like I said, the things that, you know, adults teach their children is no different. It's just it's straight up hypocritical that they scold their children for having these problems when in reality they still have these problems themselves. You're no better than children when you do that. I just... I feel like I can't take it anymore with all these people just constantly hurting each other over differing opinions and thoughts and ideals. <sighs> I've seen so many people from so many groups, so many fields, so many different interests, and the fact that they can't just see eye to eye on anything, and even when they can, they decide to hurt each other over it. We need to be better. We have to be. But we don't want to. No, we do want to, but we're scared to. And I get it. If you're scared, then you're scared. That's part of the human condition. But you need to have the bravery to confront that fear. That's all I'm going to say for now. But it's up to you to be better. Not me, it's up to the world to better itself. So please, after watching this, just think about everything I've said and try and think about how you could do something different about it. How you could do something about everything that you see wrong and try and think of how you could make it better. <sighs>